Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to the channel. StrangeNet here. So today we're going to be talking about a rare ship that's about to go up for sale on the EVO forums. And I am going to be doing a skin giveaway. Now, I've been a bit lax in doing the skins. and I've got a good number backing up. So I'm going to go and redeem them now and we'll see what we have available for the giveaway. So for this video's giveaway, I'm going to be giving away five skins. You can choose whichever one you want. So we have the Ferox. Pretty nice skin. We've got the Hikat, the Hikate, the Hikate, however you want to say it. And pretty nice skin. I think that one will be quite popular. We've also got the Kestrel for anybody that can't fly some of the uh, larger, newer ships. So for all you new guys out there, Kestrel skin. And last but not least, you can um, <laughs> fly around in high sec. Um, advertising your bling with a uh, nice shiny skin on your obelisk. So just put in the comments which skin you would like to receive as well as your in-game name. So if you do win, I will be able to obviously give it to the character in-game and I'll be basically drawing these at random in the next 24 hours. And so on to the main segment of this video. Now I had somebody contact me the other day uh, in regards to trying to sell a rare ship. I want to know if I wanted to cover it on my channel. Always open to new suggestions and ideas. So um, obviously, naturally, I said, you know, what, what is it that you're trying to sell? And the response I initially got was a Roracle. I was like, OK, <laughs> OK, yeah, not, uh, not that rare. Fair enough. But it transpires that my cynicism was uh, short lived because the uh, it is actually a Roracle, but it's a Roracle or development edition. Now, we think these ships were initially given or you were able to buy them from BPCs uh, from the Founders or Second Decade Edition um, from the pack that initially uh, CCP sent out. Now, these were all converted uh, at one point in Eve's life, or all known ones have been converted into a ship skin, and the ship skin obviously looks like this. Now, obviously, when in around about 2015 that these were updated, the stats and the old this is the old looking um, stats for the ship. Descriptions changed. Da, 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 da. Yeah, and the description is different. But yeah, basically, these are the old stats. And obviously, with the uh, the, the buff that came with Roracles, these were the new stats. And again, that comes with different fitting options, yada, yada, yada. So it is a unique ship. Now, apparently, this one survived because it was in an expired contract. And therefore, at the time, didn't get converted due to um, the fact that it wasn't in a hangar or in somebody's assets, like most things are. This was stuck in an expired contract. It wasn't until we got the expired contract, obviously redeemed, but obviously this dropped back into the hangar in its previous form. And it is currently thought this is the only ship of its type currently in New Eden. There are no or rural or development editions left on the whole of the server. Now, that doesn't mean that there isn't another one trapped in uh, an expired contract somewhere, but I very much doubt it. So if you look on the um, the forum uh, forums for Killboards, you can actually see that there, prior to 2015, some of these were being destroyed, but after that, none whatsoever. So, yes. So the person contacted me, and I said, yeah, I'd, I'd happily cover it. It's a mining ship or a, an industrial ship, therefore kind of fits nicely with the channel. So... If you have some spare isk knocking around, I will link the link, <laughs> link the link to in the description of this video, so uh, you can check out the Eve forum post on it. And if you are feeling flush, then you can bid on it. Um, I expect this to go for an awful lot of isk. Now I'm not going to put a, a, a price on that because I I have absolutely no idea. Obviously, um, uh, tournament ships go for two, three hundred billion. This could go for more than that if it is literally a unique ship. There are some people with some incredibly deep pockets that I know of uh, that probably will likely want to get their hands on a unique ship. So, um, so yeah, enjoy. Um, and I look forward to watching the bids on this. In fact, I might even drop a bid myself, but uh, no doubt I don't have anywhere near 
the amount of ISK that I'm going to need. Um, as you can see here, I'm currently at 65 billion, which I dare say is not going to cover it in any way, shape or form. So I haven't been keeping a close eye on the markets of late um, and Plex surprised me. I know it's been going up and I know it went up quite obviously drastically from um, the announcement that the price change. But my goodness, we are bouncing off that 400, uh, that 4 million ISK mark, which is combined for 2 billion ISK per month uh, to Plex and account now, which is a little eye watering. Um, injectors, I imagine are going up with it, but not enough to justify the, uh, the price increase there. And obviously scale extractors have gone up quite considerably. Now I haven't mapped this out at all, but I imagine, I'm not even going to imagine you're going to lose ISK by extracting skill points and selling them. So at the moment, it's definitely not a viable option to, uh, skill extract and plex your account from that. Although it does offset some of the costs. Uh, so obviously it helps supplement some of the cost if you uh, if you do do that for your account. But my goodness, will Plex jump over the four million is mark? And again, it's a bit of a psychological barrier. It has been above there by the looks of it. Oh no, not quite, not quite. So um, yeah, just like in real life markets, we get the uh, the invisible barriers which aren't that invisible. Round numbers. People don't like going over round numbers. Now, obviously, the sellers, I'm sure, would be quite happy. But as a buyer, you start to look at the four million mark and think it's, uh, it's getting a bit on the pricey side. And again, that's probably why we've got a bit of resistance by the looks of it. We are tapering off somewhat uh, in regards to the actual full price here. So will we break the four million is mark? Uh, it's hard to say because, well, again, with any market... As the price goes up, you'll get more sellers. But as the price gets up, you'll get less buyers. Is that reflected by the number of Plex? So let's have a look here. So uh, 1.1 million is uh, Plex. So yeah, so Plex, the amount of Plex being bought has dropped. But again, see, there was a good number being bought. It's only in the last week or so that the amount of Plex being bought has dropped substantially. Now, we, uh, it was a bit lower here. Then it rose, rose, rose. Then we had a spike, probably because we had that down point there and people did still expect it to go up. So people were trying to get on whether they needed Plex for their accounts or whether they were speculating. And again, that pushed the price up. And now people are either waiting or it's too much. So we get this yin and yang kind of situation where, so say, you've got... The sellers, people potentially buy in Plex to sell, which is good for them. But again, if it's too high, you won't get any buyers because people just can't afford it or it's not worth it. Grinding 2 billion isk a month is, for the vast majority of people, quite a mountain to climb. And a lot of people say, well, you know, just pay for it. Just do this, that and the other. And I, I'm generally in that camp. Um, you know, Eve, Eve shouldn't necessarily be a job and you know with the world doing what it's doing at the moment i can understand people's reluctance to actually spend real life money on the game but it does take a lot of the stress and you can enjoy the game for what it is um but again no judgment if you want to do however you want to play play but um yeah trying to grind out two billion isk is going to be quite a mountain for a lot of free to play people that like to do their omega for um for isk it's going to be quite hard i imagine it's not impossible but it again for the newer people starting eve that's going to be quite quite a mountain to climb where anybody that's been in the game for longer has more skill points can fly bigger ships has some isk to fall back on should find it a bit easier um again i can't quite recall how much a, a marauder makes in high sec mission running 100 mil an hour somewhere around there so it's going to take you 20 hours so let's face it, that's what, that's a good amount of time. That's just under an hour a day just to plex your account. Now, people are happy to do that and will do it. Um, but yeah, the higher it goes, obviously, the less people are going to be wanting or able to do that. There is going to reach a point, and we may have, as I say, reached that point here where the four million isk mark is um, the barrier. Watch this space. Will it go higher? Good possibility. Will it go lower? 
I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to. I can't. I'd, <laughs> I wouldn't like to speculate. Um, yeah, and trying to predict a market that is in flux is always going to <laughs> always going to make you look like an idiot in the long run. So I'm not going to put me uh, me cards on the table there. It's definitely going to break the four millionist mark. Um, will it come back down? I don't know. So with that, I'm going to wrap this video up there. Um, again, I'm going to put the, uh, the link down in the description if you are interested in having a look at the Roracle that is going to be up for sale very shortly. Again, get your comments in. Make sure you've got your in-game name. Save hi. I don't really mind what's in the comment. Keep it, keep it sweet. <laughs> and uh, with that, thanks for listening. Hope that was interesting. And I'm going to do a bit of a more of a market update in my next video. Uh, in regards to speculation and bits and bobs that I've been up to and what I'm looking to try and do, where, where I'm going in general. Because at the moment I feel like I'm floundering, meandering around and not doing a great deal. So yeah, how am I going to remotivate myself? So here I was open for that. There'll be more skin giveaways. Um, for anybody that is still listening at this part, <laughs> in regards to skin giveaways, I might do them in separate videos entirely. So anybody that does want to get in on the skin action, um, can just watch a quick video or 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 something to, in regards to the giveaways. I'm, if anyone's got any better ideas to how to do giveaways, then I'm all ears. Um, I don't like doing them in a general body of a video, and maybe a separate video entirely just for skins is the way forward. Let me know what you think. And with that, thanks for your time. Thanks for listening. I'll talk to you again soon.